Hey! I belong to the Ring of Water now. As I see, you bear our secret sign, the Aquamarine Ring. And I see in your eyes that you speak the truth. Very well. I shall accept your entrance into our ranks. But bear in mind that this comes with a great responsibility. And I hope for your sake that you'll do it justice. Found out anything new? It has been confirmed. The ancient culture did indeed believe in Adonos. Can you sell me some equipment? Tell me what you need. Wait a minute. Hey, you! Teach me that language. You already know the language of the peasants. The language of the warriors is somewhat harder. Texts written in the language of the warriors mostly deal with weapons and war. You will learn some useful things there. Go and test your new knowledge. You will see that the scriptures of the builders are no longer an unsolvable mystery for you. Teach me that language. The high language of the priests is truly difficult to understand, but I will gladly show you. Above all else, the holy scriptures which explain the history and magic of the creators are written in the language of the priests. Each of these texts is a real treasure, if one understands their meaning. Go and test your new knowledge. You will see that the scriptures of the builders are no longer an unsolvable mystery for you. Teach me that language. There is nothing more that I can show you. You have now mastered the language of the builders. Hey! About the missing ornaments. Yes? I found them. Well, that's terrific. Now I have them all. Now all we have to do is put them together. We will have to use our combined powers to fit the piece back into a ring. Here, I can give you some gold coins for your trouble. Follow me.
There. And now, step aside. You should also set them into the portal. Go to Satyrus and let him give you the reassembled ring. Hopefully the portal will then open. Hey! Give me the ring. I shall open the portal. Good. As a new member, you should be granted this honor. However, I'm still waiting for a message from Vatras. Until I receive it, we cannot go. I have a message from Vatras for you. I see. Of course you couldn't restrain yourself and you absolutely had to open it, yes? Well, uh... I hope for your sake that my still very delicate trust in you will not be shaken. Here, take the ring. We shall gather at the portal and wait for you. If Nefarious is right, the portal will open as soon as you insert the ring there.
Adenos be thanked. You are finally here. We thought you would not show up again. What? How are you already here? You went through the portal and we followed you. It did not take long before we arrived here. However, you were not there. We have been here for several days. Several days? How can that be? After we could not find you anywhere, Nefarious sought to ascertain what might have gone wrong. He seemed to be thoroughly baffled until now. Well, now you are here and can begin your work. What happened in the meantime? We have collected many new insights. The earthquakes do indeed appear to be stronger here. We are not very far from their center now. The builders of these old structures erected a city here in their day. So much we can already say. However, for some reason their culture came to an end. But so far, we can only speculate as to why. Have you found a trace of the missing people? Only yesterday we found the body of a fisherman. He was lying under one of the ruins to the east. It looks as though the fisherman was from Corinus. You should look into this. What about Raven? In his letter, Raven spoke of a temple and that he was trying to get inside. We are unanimously of the opinion that it is a temple of Adonos that Raven seeks to desecrate. The earthquakes are obviously the result of unholy incantations, which keep colliding with a powerful spell. The gates of the temple are magically sealed, and this is the very magic that makes the stone sentinels arise. The temple is defending itself. We must stop Raven before he can penetrate into the Holy of Holies. What does Raven want in the temple? We only know that it has to do with a powerful artifact that is somehow connected to Adonos and Beliar. We can certainly assume that he is not up to anything good. Raven is only a former ore baron, not a magician. How can he carry out an invocation like that? Perhaps it is not he himself, but rather a renegade magician in his pay. One way or another, we must avert the evil. What happens next? We shall remain here and continue studying the ancient culture. The old scripts of the builders conceal a great many secrets which we must reveal if we want to understand what happened here back then. Meanwhile, you must do a few things for us. What should I do? You must find Raven and prevent him from desecrating the Temple of Adonos. You mean I should kill him? If that is the only way to stop him, then in Adonos's name, yes. On your way, collect all the ancient relics and inscriptions of the builders you can find and bring them to us. We must know more about these people and their demise. Only when we see through Raven's plans can we thwart them. Furthermore, you must find a way to free the slaves. Is that all? I could do that left-handed. I know that it is much to ask. Regard it as a chance to regain my trust. I'll get going then. One more thing. Raven has gathered a large number of bandits about him. In your absence, we have fetched another member of the Ring of Water here. We sent him into the swamp. He did not come back. We suspect that the bandits attack everyone who does not look as they do. So, acquire some of the bandits' armor. That is the only way you'll get close to them without being attacked right away. Wait a minute. What poor swine did you send into the swamp? His name was Lance. I am afraid he did not get very far. Where will I find bandit armor that fits me? There seems to be a camp of pirates to the west. As far as we know, they're in contact with the bandits. I do not think that they will attack you if you approach them. Perhaps you can find some help with them. May Adonos protect you. Nice to see you. We feared the worst. It wasn't all that bad. How's it going? This is a very dangerous region here. Some of the animals in the area have never been seen by anyone before us. Close by, there is a large swamp 
that managed to grow for several hundred years without anyone noticing. Not a day goes by that we aren't attacked by beasts from the swamp. I advise you to be careful if you go for a stroll here. Is there anything new about the Stone Sentinels? We have already managed to eliminate some of them. They stand there, paralyzed like pillars of salt, and don't budge. But appearances deceive. If you get too close, they'll attack you. There's no doubt that the source of their power can be found here somewhere. Let's deal. Wait a minute. I'm tremendously relieved to see that you have arrived here unscathed. How is it that you arrived here before me? We traveled through a curious dimension. Who knows what detours you took. And now, can I use the portal again? We came here directly. It obviously works quite well. Of course, I'll let you know if I have the suspicion that it could be otherwise. What have you done here up to now? I'm studying the history of the Builders, and I'm trying to understand why they closed the portal. It looks very much as though they wanted to hide the sunken city from the rest of the world. Terrible things happened here many years ago. They were seized by something awful. There was a dreadful civil war shortly before the downfall of the city, if their records can be believed. The streets were in flames, and a flood which devoured everything ultimately sealed the fate of the Builders. The few who survived the Inferno closed this part of the island in the hope of locking up the chaos. Did you say that there was a flood? Adonos himself appeared to them to end the madness. He raised the city to the ground. What made the Builders so agitated? One of their own devoted himself to evil. He was a great commander named Quahodron. Returning from a successful battle outside the protecting walls of the city, he brought the evil with him. All of his followers fell to the madness a short time later and began to battle with the common folk. The civil war that followed reduced everything to rubble. What do you think we will find here? I can only speculate about that. You should talk to Satyrus. He has a certain idea. And we fools have reopened the portal. I'm not happy about that either, believe you me. But what choice did we have? If we cannot stop what is happening here, then Corinus will suffer exactly the same fate that once befell the builders of this ancient city. The trip through this portal is safe? I haven't had any reservations so far.
How's it going? Listen, curious, don't you think? Mm. These teleporter stones don't appear to function, and yet you can hear them hum. Although they aren't active, a certain energy rests in them nevertheless. How do these teleporter stones get their power? The builders were a very highly developed people. They use properties of magic that we have never seen. A network of teleporter stones was built so the builders could move quickly from one place in the city to another. The stones here obviously form a kind of center. What do you think needs to be done to activate them? I have an idea about that. I just need proof for my suspicion. I had a feeling days ago that I had seen this sort of construction somewhere before. I suspect that we have to supply them with a damn large amount of magical energy to get them back into service. What could provide enough magical energy? I can only think of one thing. A magical focus. I mean, one of the five focus stones that were used to create the magical barrier in the Valley of the Mines. As far as I know, you had to get them back for us a while ago. Yes, I can remember. Where are the focus stones now? They were entrusted to me. I am supposed to keep them safe until we find another use for them. The way it looks, the time is ripe now. You said you need proof for your suspicion. A magical focus should be connected to these stones, but I don't know where. I've heard enough. Give me a focus stone. I will try to get the teleporters to work. All right, but be careful with it, you hear? Satyrus will have my head if we lose them. Can you teach me your magic skills? I can show you how to increase your magic power. Hey, you! Did you expect this here? Not at all. I'm awestruck at how large the city must have been. Most of the buildings were buried under stone and earth, but the ruins that have survived the ages are spread all over the land. There must have been thousands living here. What will I find out there? In the east, there's a large fortress in a gigantic swamp. As far as we can judge from here, the bandits have taken refuge there. If I were you, I wouldn't go down there. They've set up many outposts and guards. You'd better avoid the swamp until you have more experience or find a way to go around the bandits. In the west, we have discovered some pirates. I'm not sure, but I believe they have also discovered us. They don't seem too perturbed by our presence, though. Tell me, what do you want to know? What is in the north? If the records of the builders are believed, then you'll find a large valley encircled by cliffs. Drought and desert sand dominate the landscape there. What will I find if I go to the south? The land in the south is very rugged. You'll find serpentine paths, waterfalls, and ruins carved out of the rock there. Can you teach me your skills? I can instruct you in the art of alchemy, and I can show you how to teach your will of the wisp to search for objects. Teach me the art of brewing potions. And what do you want to brew?
pay. Nefarious told me about a flood. It is written that Adonos himself descended from heaven to punish the unbelievers and banish them to the realm of the dead, aroused by his holy wrath. He let the sea fall upon the builders of this city and swept them away. The swamp to the east still bears witness to these events of the past. What could have made Adonis so angry? The temple of this city was once a great, glorious structure. Everyone honored it and prayed to our god, Adonis. Rademus, the son of the commander Quahodron, desecrated the temple. As a result, one after another fell victim to evil. I suspect that Adonis would not forgive this, and his revenge fell upon the land. This makes it even more important that we stop Raven. He is about to do exactly the same thing. May Adonos protect you. Nothing to be had there.
there. I've activated one of the teleporter stones. I can see that. So I was right. I have talked to the others about it. We want you to try to activate all the teleporter stones. It would be a great help in our investigations if we could move quickly from one part of the city to another. Here is another focus stone. Activate them all if you can. I'll try. Who on earth are you? You don't look like the others. What others? Well, the mages who are hanging around these runes over there. Are you one of that bunch then? Brave thing to run around here by yourself. Who are you? I'm sure you've heard of me before. I'm Alligator Jack, feared all over the country. I'm one of the most dangerous pirates around here. Together with Captain Craig, I've boarded more merchant vessels than I can count. You're looking at a living legend here. Do you know a fellow named Raven? Of course. He's the leader of the bandits to the east. What's your business with him? I've got to kill him. <laughs> what? You? How are you going to do that? Isn't that guy way out of your league? You won't even get close to him. The bandits he surrounded himself with will skin you alive first. You won't even get past their first outpost. The way you look, those bandits will get itchy fingers when they spot you a mile away. I've got a better idea. Come and join us. That'll give you time to think about it. Once you've tried our good home-brewed rum, things will look very different. I need a bandit's armor. What would you do with that? It'll only get you into trouble if you're seen with it. Everyone's going to take you for a bandit, and they will try to kill you. Do you have any idea where I could find armor like that? We used to have one in our pirate camp, but I don't know whether it's still there. Your captain's name is Greg? Right. He's the greatest pirate the sea ever spawned. I think I know your captain. I met him in Corinus. <laughs> Greg, in Corinus? Nonsense. Greg is out at sea after booty with some of the lads. The only thing that could bring Greg to Corinus would be one of the king's prison galleys. He's one of the most wanted men in the land. He'd never march into town voluntarily and have the royal guard throw him into prison. If you say so. Where's your pirate camp? See the cave passage over there. Go through it and continue west, and you'll come to our beach sooner or later. That's where our log huts are. I can take you there if you want, if you do me a favor first. And what would that be? I'll have to get the boys some meat before I can go back to camp. You're a strong fellow. I could use your help hunting. Interested? What is it you hunt? Only alligators, usually. But they're no good for eating. And there aren't any left around here anyway. So I take what I can find. Swamp rats. What? Most beasts around here taste like old socks. Or they're as tough as alligator meat. Those fat swamp rats are the only thing that is remotely edible. Tell me more about you pirates. We've been living here for years. Back before the war, everyone knew us from here to the mainland. Our flag alone would spread terror among the crews of merchant vessels. But those times are past now. It's been weeks since we've run into a merchant vessel. Our Captain Greg left to try and catch another. The rest of us are sitting here in camp, twiddling our thumbs until he comes back. I hope he'll bring back lots of booty. Let's go hunting. All right. 
With two people, that's child's play. Are you ready? Yes. Great. Just stay right behind me. Nothing to Nothing be had to there. Plunder. The Hollow. There should be some of those beasts around here. Follow me. Come here, you filthy beast. I was afraid of that. What? This handful of beasts here is only about half of what I need. Now we'll have to enter the canyon. Watch out. It's very dangerous deeper down in the canyon. If you hold your life dear, stay very close to me. What is there in the canyon? We avoid that area if it's at all possible. That's where you'll find razors. Tough beasts, those. Stay away from them if you want to live another day. Fine, let's go. All right. Come on. One less monster around. Wait a minute.
Well done. We can use someone like you. You brought down one of those beasts on your first hunt. Not bad. Here, take this swamp rat meat to lazy old Morgan. You'll find him in our camp. He's probably lounging on the beach somewhere. He'll be waiting for this. Henry usually guards the entrance to the camp and keeps a lookout for bandits. If he refuses to let you in, just tell him that I sent you. Maybe that'll make him a bit more sociable. Henry is a little too eager and a bit bossy too. Can you teach me something? Sure, I'm a good hunter and I can show you how to skin animals and pull their teeth. I'll teach you if you like. Teach me. What is it you want to learn? If you're looking for me, you'll usually find me near my camp in front of the Palisade. Palisades? Just continue west from here and you'll see what I mean. 